Good afternoon, um, and hello. This is the bonus vlog. Uh, we're going to have your your fourth uh, weekly scheduled vlog tomorrow, as usual. But uh, because we went to 701 followers on uh, on Twitter this week, which is a very exciting development. I don't know how many people follow Twitter, but basically. Uh, getting a, a, a number of followers divisible by 100 is a big deal. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, but at 500 followers and 600 followers, we gave away books, uh, which we thought was sort of uh, a, a nice gesture to the 500th and 600th follower. But I thought what, what this isn't doing is rewarding 99 followers uh, who helped us reach that number. Some of them are spam bots um, and they don't get books. So I thought let's do a, a reward for everyone. And uh, since the vlog seems to be quite popular, we'll do a bonus vlog. So, hello, this is your bonus vlog. Um, so, what are we going to do today? I thought we'd look at what kind of books does an editor have on his desk? Uh, I'm sure you've all got books on your desk at work uh, and at home. Um, so, uh, what, what do I have since I make books? Uh, so, I've got, I've got them over here, uh, so I'll show them to you. Uh, first is. Um, Rowena Corey Daniels uh, fantasy trilogy uh, King Roland's Kin, so that's uh, King's Bastard, The Uncrowned King and The Usurper. Um, not reading, because I actually finished these months ago. Uh, I, I copy edited them. <laughs> uh, but um, referring reason, uh, for uh, paperwork I was doing the other day and I needed some numbers off them, so it's temporarily on my desk. They're going back up on the shelf uh, right after this. Um, this is uh, probably a bit more relevant um, in my source books. So, uh, very quickly, uh, the Allied, no, Associated, the Associated Press style book. Um, people are of, uh, of, of mixed opinions about this. Um, some will say it's overly formal. Uh, some say it's not particularly relevant in uh, in the UK because it's a very very much an American book. But um, as long as you can mentally edit the UK US distinction, uh, it's an invaluable source. Uh, it's just got loads loads of guidance about how to do something. And and while for almost every um, pointer in here about um, how to use a particular word or how to spell a particular word, uh, how to use a particular point of grammar, oops, somebody disagrees with. Uh, if you have to stick to a standard. You might as well stick to this one, it's quite useful. Uh, let's just put that over there where it belongs. Uh, there's no space for it. So it's drunk and white, elements of style. Um, very, very useful for pretty much exactly the same reasons. Just, uh, this one's really good for some odd things that you don't use very often, but uh, every time it comes up, you go, oh, do I do it this way or that way? Uh, let's see if I can find a good example. Uh, that and which. They versus he and she. Um, yeah, just really, really useful stuff like that, and then some general style guidelines. So again, uh, an eminently useful book. Obviously, yeah, I, I don't use them all the time because, yeah, to some extent, I know these things. But um, it's nice having a resource. Uh, Lynn trusts eats shoots and leaves. I find her. Uh, I'm very sorry, Lynn, if you're watching. Um, a bit of an opinionated prick, but she does know her stuff, and uh, and it can be very useful. So just got a copy kicking around the office, and uh, the wonderful Bill Bryson's troublesome words. Actually, not as good um, a, a sort of academic resource. Uh, lots of fun though, and it does have some 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 examples which to make you go, hmm, I didn't realise that. Uh, so so yeah, those are those are my four sort of main resources for editing, and uh, this would be the eighth book I've got on my desk. Um, it's just a bit, a bit of a young adult fantasy uh, by Simon and Schuster. They print and distribute uh, for Solaris and Abaddon, in case you didn't know. Uh, so occasionally they send us free books for various reasons. This is it's got sort of quite quite a nice device where there's a web presence associated with it, and you show the image to the camera, and it uh, triggers additional content, which we we thought we'd take a look at because it's quite cool. Probably not going to do anything with it, but uh, yeah. So I don't know how much longer that's going to be on my desk either. And that's what does an editor have on his desk. So uh, thank you very much, Twitter's followers and viewers. Um, happy 701st follower. And yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye.